my loves welcome and welcome back to the channel i'm amira this is monocope's this soul healing this is going to be your all signs daily message for um on or around september 12th keep in mind timing is fluid this message is general if you're interested in a personal reading you can um book with me on my website okay um, I want to thank you guys for clicking on this video. We are starting with the sound bowl today, as you can see. Timestamps are down below if you're done hearing me um, or listening to me ramble, okay? Um, let's get started. Aries, what's going on, Aries? Let's get a message for you for September 12th. All right. Ooh, something I, c I can't, I don't know which word they, they're referring to specifically, but something about like minimalism, minimalist, minimalistic. Okay, I'm getting like all the different versions of, of minimal. <laughs> Okay, so maybe that's something that you're practicing or, or that's how you identify or, or somebody needs to, um, um, I don't know, like live that way today or something like that. Okay, you have the, um, yeah, the temperance card, okay, in, in your overall energy at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so, so something needs, something needs, you need less of it. Okay, I don't know what that means. All right, for some of you, this could have to do with work or what you've been working on. Maybe you need to take a break. Maybe you need to rest. Maybe you need to recover. Okay, to heal. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune is here in the Nine of Swords because something is, is creating some kind of agony. Yeah, in the Four of Coins. Okay, this could be referring to your finances, Aries, as well. All right, but you have the Eight of Coins and the Judgment card coming out. All right. So I feel like today is going to be a day of you looking at something. All right. This is like the energy that you've been getting, though. OK, this eight of coins energy, looking at something from every angle. I feel like you've been really focused on something I, and you you are going to to gain some kind of awareness today about about what you need to do. OK, what you need to do or, or um, you're having an epiphany. OK, clarify judgment. You're having an epiphany. Okay, maybe that epiphany is that you need less of something or, or um, something like that. What's the judgment card? You're starting over, but you're gaining clarity. Yeah, the Ace of Cups. Okay, what else? What's this judgment card? There's something that you've been working on. I feel like it's paying off, essentially. Okay, what's the judgment card? I feel like there's acceptance here as well. Like you're accepting, okay, maybe accepting, yeah, the Ten of Wands, okay? A lot of you have been working too much, okay? I feel like you need to, yeah, the Four of Pentacles, okay? You, something you're doing, you've been doing something too much. It's like devil energy, okay? All right, I feel like if you take a step back from that thing, um, take a rest, recover, okay? Like, like find peace again, rather than this obsessive, um, I need to figure this out kind of energy, even if it's just been like you thinking too much or being very much in your head. Yeah, I feel like that is how you find you you gain the awareness that you've been looking for. That's how you get that epiphany, okay? Especially with that temperance card. 
but yeah there's a need you need you need less of whatever it is okay less less time less less effort less less obsessive energy maybe you're working too much all those things okay minimal is your word of the day <laughs> okay that's for Aries Taurus what's up Thank you for being here, Taurus. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, let's see what's going on for you. Um, no, it's, it's the um, this message is for the 12th, okay, but I'm hearing 18th, so something about September 18th, okay, or or maybe some other month, I don't know, but I feel like it's September 18th, 918. There's some significance there for you, Taurus. Okay, what's the message for the 12th? for Taurus. Hmm. Queen of Wands. You're doing something significant. Yeah, the Ace of Swords. You're doing something significant, Taurus. I feel like it's really scary. Yeah, the Palace of Swords. Some of you may be having a really a really tough conversation today. Okay, you may be having a tough a really tough conversation or stepping stepping out of your comfort zone, which I'm not even comfort. Yeah, the Tower. Okay, I'm not, I I don't like that. I don't like those words anymore. Okay, I had I had an epiphany myself, but yeah, literally. Okay, the Four of Coins, Ten of Swords, the Ten of Coins. I had an epiphany myself. Okay, I put I posted on. Instagram about it. Why do we call it the comfort zone when most of it is uncomfortable? Most of it is uncomfortable, but with this four of coins, it's what we're used to. Okay, it's like holding, holding back, holding on to something, holding on to something because it feels safer. It's not about comfort; it's about safety. I feel secure here. I, I feel secure not doing this thing. But anyway, I feel like you're stepping out of your comfort zone, Taurus. Okay, I feel like I feel like you're doing something risky. You're taking a risk, and it has to do with what you're saying. I feel like you're explaining yourself. Okay, and also more more than anything. Thing, yeah okay with that it's like you're ripping the band-aid off you're explaining yourself what's this ace of swords hmm. let's see ace of swords i feel like you're standing up for yourself as well what's the ace of swords yeah the chariot okay it's like you're you're tired of being um in this victim mentality, this victim mindset or situation. Okay, I'm tired of of thinking about the past. I'm tired of thinking about how things could go wrong. I'm tired. Yeah, the five of wands. You're going yeah, and the king of wands. Okay, and the knight of wands, two of swords, and the queen of wands. Okay, I feel like you're you are you're you're taking action on something here, where there's been delays. Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. So exploring your options, you're separating from something. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune going in a new direction. You're separating from something, but it's it's by way of your willpower. It's by way of your um, your courage that that you're doing this. You're you're very courageous today, and and um, it's through that courage that you are saying something. You're you're speaking the truth. Okay. You're speaking the truth. I feel like you're making a decision where there's been where there's been confusion. Yeah, four cups and the hangman. Okay. You're making a decision here where there's been confusion. All right. That's what I have for you. <clears throat> Gemini. Hi. Hello. Let's see what's going on for you. Um, for the 12th, I'm getting something, something about the 7th, okay? I don't know what month, okay? October for some of you, but I don't think that's everybody. All right, but something about the 7th. All right, Gemini, please. Thank you guys for clicking on this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All right. Something's really annoying you today, or somebody's really annoying you. 
looks like a total pest. I mean, maybe it's literally a pest. What is this? It wants to come out in the reverse. Tree of life in the reverse. So you're confused. Okay. Maybe you're annoying yourself because you're thinking too much or you can't figure something out. All right. Page of wands. Page of wands. Palace of coins. Palace of cups. So there's a difficulty here, Gemini, be between being practical and what you what you feel. Okay, your feelings and and um, like the practical side of something. Okay, I feel like you're trying to detach from something. Okay, give me one more. The tree of life in the reverse. All right, there's delays here. I feel like you're taking too long, or somebody's taking too long to make a decision. It's like choose a path already. All right, thank you. And the nine of cups. Yeah, the king of coins. I, I, I think that you know you need to be practical, but what you actually want <laughs> is, a, is like a totally different path, okay? The nine of cups, this, this um, beautiful energy of, of being free, okay? Maybe you feel restricted. All right, what is this? Um, hmm, what do we want to clarify? <laughs> Only one. See, and this is exactly what you're going through today. Oh, back and forth, left, right, sideways. I don't know which direction to go in. I don't know. I'm so confused. Clarify the tree of life, please. In the reverse. Clarify the tree of life in the reverse. I feel like there's delays here. Okay, what did I say? Seven. Okay, so something about the number seven. It may not be a date for some of you. It may not be a date. All right. I'm going to show you the card. It's coming up in the reversal. There's a lot of confusion. Where do I go from here? What do I want with life? But the number seven is about an internal awareness. It's, it's, it's a card of spirituality, having faith, but also learning something about yourself. Yeah, the six of swords. See, you need to trust where the universe is leading you. But you guys are, are thinking a lot today. There's a lot of reflection. But yeah, like I said, I feel like you're, 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 you are meant to be detaching from something, but there's hesitation and delays. Queen of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. So you have an opportunity here for happiness and bliss. But it's, it's going to take courage. The Ace of Cups. Okay. Yeah, Ten of Wands, the Two of Pentacles. You're really indecisive. And, and again, you're trying to hold on to, to something that can't come along with you in this new journey. You guys already know which way you need to go. Okay, Justice and the Seven of Swords. Wow. You already know which way you need to go. You could be dealing with a Libra here or a Pisces, like I said. Okay, but you already know which way you need to go. Uh, again, it's just that one side is, um, it appeals to your emotional space and another side is like, this makes more sense kind of thing. Okay, you need to focus on the facts. You also need to make a decision. You're delaying this too long. Okay, you need to make a decision. I feel like somebody's avoiding this decision. All right, that's for Gem Gemini. Cancer, hey. <laughs> Let's get your message, kids. Um, um, thank you for being here, okay? Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. I feel like somebody is mistaking you for someone else today, okay? Or um, the mistaken identity. It's But it has to do with, like... Um, your face, your facial features, okay, or your um, your ethnicity. Maybe this happens often to you, okay. But there's something really prominent. Yeah, there's something. Okay, or maybe somebody's saying there's something prominent about your face, or you're saying this about someone else. Okay, that word was really important. Okay, cancer, please. I feel like it's an important cancer to, to um, check your Jupiter placement. Okay, there's something about your Jupiter, and here's Jupiter coming out. Okay, so um, yeah. Okay, check. You need to. You need to. You need to be aware of. And here you are. Okay, maybe you're becoming aware of 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 your Jupiter placement or how it affects your life. Okay, Jupiter is about growth and expansion, good luck, success, good fortune, all those things. All right. It's like the how we get there. Basically, it's it's kind of um, in alignment with the North Node in some ways, but that's, it, it may also um, reveal the restrictions that we feel. 
and there is some sense of a restriction here okay you have the two of coins coming out first you have the two of coins coming out but this jupiter um yeah in two of the the jupiter and capricorn all right so yeah you feel there's some kind of restriction here but the two of coins is juggling okay what's going on here thank you the tree of life and the king of wands two of swords yeah all this moon energy is making you struggle okay what is this um tree of life please so the two of coins is somebody who who um is indecisive okay very confused i don't know which way to go and like um i feel like it's a significant life decision like it's gonna have a, a wild i don't know why i want to say wild okay you could be dealing with a fire sign here okay or again perhaps your jupiter placement is in this fire energy okay aries leo sagittarius which the fire energy is one of of action it's one of power it's one of um um emotions being placed in a productive way i feel like there's a need to be productive with your emotions as opposed to allowing them to hold you back okay like that four of cups yeah okay what's the, what's the tree of life please for cancer it's like you need to and, and maybe it's in a water sign either way i feel like you're you need to use your emotions in a productive way okay when it comes to today and maybe that's because someone has you upset okay ten of wands three of wands yeah okay so this aries energy three of wands page of cups and the wheel of fortune right use your emotions in a productive way and and, and again i i say it all the time that emotion the, the cup energy um it's emotions it's creativity it's our imagination but in it's 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 all of, it's our intuition as well it's all of that coupled into one when, when we use that in a healthy expressive or productive way i feel like that's what you need to do here with whatever you're trying to decide Okay, that's for cancer. Leo. Hi. What's up, Leo? Let's get your uh, message. Oh, so many planets are in retrograde. Right? We're, we're all just like freaking robots and aliens on the earth right now. We don't know what's going on. All right, Leo, please. Um, Leo, I feel like you need some peace, okay? There, there's something about the sunset that they're giving me. I don't know. Maybe you're watching the sunset tonight, today, or you that's, that's something that you enjoy doing, but there's something about the sunset. I don't know. All right, Leo, please. Maybe you, again, maybe you need some peace. I mean, I guess that doesn't bring everybody peace. I don't know. Seven... <laughs> Seven of Swords and the Three of Coins. Ooh. And the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay, that's you. Okay, there's a need to set new goals here. I feel like you have a new opportunity. Yeah, the Three of Coins. You have a new opportunity. I see you guys strategizing today. Okay, you need to figure out how you're going to make something work. Okay, let's see. What's the seven of swords? You need to figure out how you're going to make something work. I feel like you guys also need to be patient. Okay, today is not a day to... Um, today's not a day to be super aggressive and, and upset that something's not going your way or not happening at the speed that you want it to happen. I feel like you need to be patient. Maybe it's a day to watch the sunset that will bring you clarity or bring you peace or help you to strategize. Okay, it's a slow moving kind of thing. It's not like, you know, chariot energy. Okay, what's the seven of swords? You will be successful in whatever this is, but there's a need to strategize, plan, and set new goals. Clarify the Seven of Swords, please. Three of Swords, yeah. I, I feel like it's going to make you upset. Like I said, yeah, okay. So, like, see, because here you are with this Knight of Wands energy. Like, what is, what's going on? Why, why can't I... 
Why can't I reach my goal? Why can't I just get what I want already? This is what I want. What's taking so long? This Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is like somebody who has their eyes set on what they want, just like the King, right? But this is taking swift action. It's not a day to do that. You need to strategize. You need to think, okay? Be in this Eight of Cups energy where it's like taking it slow, all right? Taking it slow, fe feeling your feels, all right? I, I feel like you also, yeah, you need, you need some time to disconnect from people. Yeah, five of coins, seven of coins. You need some time to disconnect from people, set new goals, and then you will be led in the direction that, that you need to go in. Okay, take a time out. Yeah, the star, the temperance, and the seven of wands. It'll be just fine, but you have to stop this, like... Um, I'm not saying don't be assertive, but today's not the day to do that. You can't just, like, shove a round peg into a square hole kind of thing. Okay, that's for Leo. Virgo, hi. I'm hearing blessed. Okay, well, happy birthday. Maybe you're having a blessed birthday season, a blessed day. There's some kind of blessing. Okay, Virgo, please. Thank you for clicking on this video. Um, I hope that something here does resonate with you. Please ensure that you watch all of your placements. That's important. Okay, Virgo, please. I feel like I need to shuffle really good for you guys. Okay. Is there some, something about a protocol? Okay, you're, you're following protocol or you're making a new one? I don't know. Okay, Virgo, please. Yeah, you're making a new one. Something's new, okay? Five of Swords. Yeah. All right, well, and the Knight of Cups, um, Knight of Wands. I feel like you're you're uh, really determined to, some of, some of you are creating something new. Yeah, you're creating a new protocol. This could be at work or with, I mean, anything really, right? Within your relationship. Okay, yeah, the High Priestess and the Moon. All right, I feel like there's, um, there's a challenge here though, like with another person, maybe they don't agree with you or they don't believe, excuse me, that you know what you're talking about. What's the five of swords? You need to express this um, Virgo to this person in the appropriate way though. That, that's, that's how you're gonna be able to get your, so something about 2002, okay, that's weird. <laughs> okay, so maybe somebody's born in, O2 or something happened back then that that um that explains what's happening here I don't know um anyway you need to say it in a way that will um that this person can receive it okay I'm also hearing everything's not for everybody okay what's this five of swords but yeah I feel like somebody is um um honestly just defiant okay I mean the five of swords is is like it's it's ego driven yeah the star but you will be successful yeah you have an idea okay some of you uh, you could be dealing with an Aquarius or have a significant Aquarius um, uh, um, placement okay wow wow the star the ten of cups the four of wands the world card the six of Pentacles this is beautiful. I think you have a great idea, whatever it is. You're creating some some new protocol. And it doesn't have to be as significant as like creating a, a something new at work. It's just like, I have this figured out and this is going to work for us. But somebody doesn't agree. Yeah, three of wands, seven of wands, and the eight of cups. All right, so... Again, I feel like you need to continue to fight for this, okay? You will be successful, but you are it's like you're thinking bigger. Yeah, and there's a blessing here, okay? There's a blessing here, all right? Yeah, the judgment, eight of swords, and the five of cups, yeah. Somebody somebody does not agree with, with what you're saying, but again, uh, with this knight of cups energy, okay, and the judgment card, it's like you um, fight for what you believe in, fight for, and, and, and express yourself in, a, in such a way that these, this person or these people can receive it, okay, appropriately, all right? It's like you're, 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 um, you're freeing up some barrier, okay? You're you're making some uh, you're making something easier, smoother, a process, a, a relationship, or or whatever, okay? Love it. <laughs> Libra, hi. 
time. What's going on? Um, okay. Libra, I feel like you're pressed for time today. Okay, you may be traveling or um, something like that. Somebody's pressed for time. Okay. I, I, I don't know if it can be avoided. Let's see what's going on for Libra. Um, guys, don't forget to like this video, okay? Subscribe to the channel. Help it reach its highest heights. I can't wait for my new chair to come in, you guys. This chair is like the wrong height. It's squeaky. <laughs> okay. Libra, please. Give me something about diamonds. I don't know what about them. Maybe you're purchasing a diamond or I don't know. Libra, please. The judgment card. Okay, yeah. So you are making a big purchase. And the queen of swords, that's you. Yeah, you're finally making a decision here. You have the ace of cups at the bottom of the deck, the ace of wands. Here's you as well, though. The three of swords and the, and the five of coins. Okay. So... I do feel like you guys are pressed for time. Again, you're making a big part, but make, making a big purchase. Maybe you're maybe you're reluctant, or you've been reluctant to make this purchase, or to to make this sacrifice. It feels like a, a financial sacrifice, or um, you could be moving as well. I don't know. Let's see. What's the um, judgment, please? Could be dealing with the Scorpio, but you have a fresh start here. Okay, with the judgment card. Something about diamonds. I still don't, I'm not sure what that is. Okay. What's this judgment card? I, it feels like, like, wow, the three of cups. It feels like you have to make a decision quickly. Okay, like you have to decide quickly. Maybe, maybe the store is closing or you're somewhere um, and you have to get back home or you're at home and you have to get there quickly. Okay, there's something about that. All right, judgment and the three of cups though. So for some of you, this could be um, a, a reconnection with someone. Okay, or a commitment, yeah. Okay, maybe you're deciding to propose to somebody or accept somebody's proposal, wow. Three of Cups, Ace of Cups, the Judgment card. But yeah, you've been indecisive about making this large purchase or you haven't had the money. Okay, Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you're committing to something. All right, but but it wasn't the right time. Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. Wow, you're, you are like going for it today. <laughs> you're going for it today. Okay. Yeah, but the Four of Swords. So there's there's either been a separation. Um, this could also be somebody else who's coming coming toward you. But whatever the case, I feel like someone has been thinking about this for for some time. There's been a delay, and and like today's the day. Okay, I'm gonna make it happen. Yeah, Justice card. Wow. You're, so you're making a you're making a decision. Okay. <laughs> it's like I know what to do now. I found my truth. Okay. But there, there is some, um, some sense of, of, of pressure, okay? And maybe that's where the diamond thing is coming in for some of you, okay? It could, it could just be that, not actually about a diamond, but you know, um, it's pressure that creates diamonds. So there's something, some, some correlation there, okay? That's for Libra. <laughs> Scorpio. Hey, let's see what's going on for Scorpio, please. Um, thank you for clicking on this video. Okay, I hope that this message resonates with you. Don't forget to watch all of your placements and like the videos. Subscribe to the channel. Become a part of the family, okay? Scorpio. Okay, there you are. Five of Cups and the Strength card. 
All right, so today's an, an emotional one. It's hard, okay? Why? It's hard to manage your feelings. It's, it's hard to um, not, not show emotion or keep it together. I feel like you really, 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 really have to keep it together as far as your face is concerned. Okay, maybe, you, maybe you're like... Um, having a conversation face to face with somebody or you work in a, in an environment or like on um like like um on the computer like from home okay on the computer screen like you're on video calls or something or you're on a video call and something happens i, I feel like your face is really important like it's hard to um or it's important to like not show the emotion on your face 7 of coins the empress Hmm. All right, let's see. What's this um, Five of Cups? What's happening? Hmm. All right, you could be dealing with a, um, a Leo, okay? What's the Five of Cups, please, for Scorpio? Emotions are on high, though, okay? Let's see. I'm hearing what's done in the dark. Okay, so some secrets coming out. The Empress again. The Fool. Page of Cups. Okay, there's regrets here. Yeah, the Seven of Wands. Someone is, someone is regretting a decision that they made. Okay, maybe feeling like they, they moved too quickly. I feel like this is like like um, um, like someone reg regrets being intimate so quickly. That's what I'm getting. Okay, somebody regrets being intimate so quickly with another person. Six of Pentacles, Four of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. But something's coming out here, okay? Like a, a secret or lies or, or something, like what's done in the dark, okay? But I feel like there's regret for whatever was done in the dark. That could be you or somebody else, okay? There may also be a, um, a pregnancy here, all right? Like that's the result of this. I wanna clarify the strength card for you guys as well. Okay, real quick, strength card, please. Because whatever whatever is coming out or um, being revealed, all right, it is the truth. The truth is coming out. I feel like someone has has tried their their hardest to not let it, okay, or um, something like that. But the truth is coming out, and and from this, it's like you have to be remain stoic or or manage your 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 feelings, not you know do something crazy. <laughs> Clarify strength card, whatever we're talking about. But there's some kind of um, grieving, okay? But I feel like there's regret. Okay, what's the strength card? Yeah, that'll do. Queen of Wands, yeah, okay. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of anger, resentment, okay? I feel like there's jealousy here too. Yeah, the five of swords. Somebody is jealous that someone someone got what they wanted or something like that. Okay, that somebody else got what they wanted. All right, all right. I'm gonna leave it there, you guys. That's for Scorpio. Sassy Sag. What's going on, Sassy? Let's get your message for the 12. Okay, like, share, and subscribe, Sag. <laughs> All right. Superfluous. That's a really big word. <laughs> okay, what are we talking about? All right, for Sag. I 
I, I feel like you, you're, you're, you're in, at a crossroads today, right? You, you need to make a decision. Okay. Um, it's scary, right? But the Seven of Cups, it's like you're considering something that you don't even need to consider, right? The Three of Swords. Okay, maybe you're, maybe you are anticipating that you're gonna be disappointed. All right, but all, all you're gonna do is cause delays here, which I feel like has already been the case. It's like you're trying to decide which, what you want, okay? Where you wanna go. Um, but you, you're anticipating that there's gonna be a problem. It hasn't even occurred yet. Okay. Clarify the um, Seven of Cups. Excuse me. you may also be anticipating that it's going to be a lot of work and you're not really interested in that. Yeah, the devil and the ace of cups, okay? But this is also what you want. What's the um, seven of cups, please? There's something that you're considering that, that you don't need to be considering. What is that? What is that? I feel like it's um, anticipated disappointment, okay? But like you can't, you can't anticipate. I mean, as long as the decision is practical, right? You don't anticipate disappointment. You just make the best choice. You make the best choice. You make the practical choice. You make the logical choice. You make the one that makes most sense. You make the one that's toward your de your destiny, and you leave it at you leave it up to the universe. After that, you can't you can't just hold on to. All right, two of cups. Okay, so we're talking about a relationship. Yeah, and this devil energy. Okay, for a lot of you, it's like. Um, Six of Cups, yeah, in the world. Okay, so we, we could be talking about a move. Okay, maybe you're considering moving. But I feel like you're overthinking something and also very much tied to um, the past. It's time to move on from whatever this place or this thing or this relationship is. Yeah, Two of Cups, Eight of Wands, Seven of Wands, but you're holding on to it. Okay, you're holding on to it. It's time to go on a new journey here and move forward with the world card. That's the end. What's the next card? Yeah, the Hierophant. Okay, it, it's like it's time for you to commit yourself to a new path here. All right, what you've been doing is not working. It's time to change, tweak the plan, go in a new direction. But it feels risky. Okay, and you're also like, um, again, you're con it's like you're considering something that isn't even relevant, and that could be a person, right? All right, that's what I have for Saji. Capricorn, hello. Get in the letter S. Okay, it's not really attached to anything, just the letter. Maybe, maybe that's um, in your name or how your name starts or somebody else. I don't know. All right, Capricorn, please. <laughs> also hearing game over All right. so somebody's been playing games hmm. yeah six of wands the game's over hangman okay the game's over somebody's done playing games nine of wands i feel like they're frustrated tired okay king of cups the two of wands somebody is done playing games they're tired it's like i don't want this anymore okay there's some kind of um 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 something's coming out of nowhere okay like the wheel of fortune it feels like okay you have the six of wands and the hangman here but something's coming out and maybe it's an epiphany Okay, I feel like something's coming out of nowhere and, and freeing somebody from a situation where they're not, it's like, I'm, I'm over this. Why is it so difficult? <laughs> okay, this could have also been um, internal conflict. Yeah, because I was getting internal combustion. I feel like somebody is over something. It's like, I can't keep going through this struggle. What's this hangman? Okay, maybe there's been stubbornness here or somebody's been stuck in their ego, unwilling to change, change their mind or, okay, but the games are over, okay? It's like surrendering, yeah, surrendering. This is surrendering, somebody's winning, okay, with the Six of Wands. What's the same man for Capricorn? Yeah, going in a new direction, okay? 
somebody may have been very guarded okay and that's a part of what the what the struggle was i feel like somebody is dropping their guard what's this um hangman please yeah the queen of swords there's internal enlightenment here i know what i need to do now Okay, especially if there's been some kind of internal conflict that you've, if, if you've been confused, you don't know which way is left, right. And, and I just was saying to somebody else, I mean, there's so many different planets in retrograde on top of the full moon energy that we're still dealing with. So you are not alone. Okay, you're not alone. Yeah, the eight of swords. Somebody's been thinking a lot. Five of cups and the five of pentacles. So yeah, okay. Something's coming out of nowhere out of nowhere i feel like you need to expect the unexpected in a situation what's next somebody may be departing yeah but the temperance card right it's like you're finding the tweak well i don't know what what we're talking about here but you're you're finding the tweak you're finding you're finding the right um just the right formula for something okay you're figuring out how to move this thing forward i feel like there's been stagnancy here something hasn't been moving there's been stagnancy something hasn't been i feel like somebody also just just generally speaking couldn't understand something okay yeah something's coming out of nowhere with this ace of wands okay all right that's what i have for you capricorn all right <laughs> aquarius what's up aqua Let's um, get your message for the 12th, on or around the 12th. There you are. Okay. Um, clear and concise message, please, for Aquarius. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, the, okay, subscribe to the channel so it can continue to grow. Once we hit 1,000 subscribers, I will be giving away free readings. Okay. All right. 10 of them. Um getting something about a scholarship maybe someone's receiving a scholarship or looking for scholarships today okay it has something to do with being active so maybe a um like a sport or something like that okay message for aqua please or somebody could have just started school on a scholarship no school just started okay swords interesting all right one more thank you the knight of coins somebody's going in a different direction here <laughs> yeah the world okay so yeah congratulations somebody's either traveling or moving okay or graduating okay but i feel like somebody's going in a different direction than people expect yeah the king of cups the page of coins and the king of wands okay this is going to take a lot of courage but i do i feel like somebody has as is, is going in and it's like you know um i don't want to be a doctor anymore i want to go to art school or i want to be an artist all right I'm not to say that that is the situation specifically, but it's it's sort of like, I feel like it's controversial. It's sort of like that. Somebody's going in a different direction, okay? Or they're choosing to move and that wasn't expected. Yeah, three of wands, eight of wands, ace of wands. It's like, this is more exciting. This is actually where my passion lies. What's this knight of coins? Okay. I don't feel like, I feel like somebody hasn't been honest with themselves or other people about this, okay? What's this Knight of Coins? This might be your child, okay? Especially like an Earth sign child or... All right, or Air sign as well. Anybody. What's the Knight of Coins? I feel like somebody's, somebody's doing something with hair or um, like, like maybe they're going to, to be a beautician or barber school or cosmetology. Okay. Yeah. The fool they're doing something. This is, this is something spontaneous though. And it's risky. It's like leaving it all behind. Somebody is choosing to move or go in this new direction. I, but I feel like it's, um, you know, it's, it's like it's frowned upon or somebody may, may view it as foolish. Okay. Nine of swords and the 10 of cups with the star card. All right. Yeah. And the king of cups all right everything that i just said all right but somebody is um i feel like there's a lot of fear or there's been a lot of fear okay 
and, and if you have not made this decision, I feel like somebody's on the brink of it. But like, it's like, this is what would actually make my soul happy. Okay. But with this star card energy, which is you, so you know exactly what I mean. All right. This is like, um, you know, I'm, I'm thinking outside the box. I'm thinking bigger than most people or, you know, but, but I feel like this opportunity is coming in out of nowhere. Okay. Or, or maybe it's being expressed to you out of nowhere. Yeah. The lover's card. The Eight of Cups and the Three of Somebody's choosing to move in a new direction. Okay, this could be a contract that's coming in or, or an opportunity that like this this fills my soul kind of thing as opposed to the straight and narrow kind of path. Okay, that's what I have for you. Pisces. What's up, soul family? Let's see what's going on for Pisces. Hmm. I am getting the name Camille. Okay. All right. Pisces, please. I feel like it's a really serious day or, I don't know, it's dragging. I don't know. There's no fun or something like that. Okay. Pisces, please. Yeah, maybe you're busy. Maybe you're busy with work or other whatever obligations you have. The day, it feels like the day is just dragging. This is boring. Okay, that's too many. That's too many. Can I just get two? I did. That was the Ace of Cups, though. Okay, so you're wanting some um, inspiration, or maybe you're receiving it. Okay, I'm seeing like the Four of Cups. All right, that's like your theme of the day. Yeah, something's inspiring you, Pisces. Okay, but I, it's like maybe maybe it feels like the wrong time to act on it. This could just simply put be your passions. Yeah, the moon. Okay, it's like you want to exercise your creativity. I'm bored here. I want to I want to I want to look at things differently. Like, you know, I want to read a book and it inspire me and learn something new. Like you want more. Okay, yeah, the eight of wands and the fool. Okay, literally you want more. But I feel like something's coming in. Yeah, the eight of cups. But, but you feel like it's the wrong time. Nine of cups. Oh, wow. And the world. Maybe you feel like it's the wrong time or it's such a risk, right? Okay, let's see. Two of swords. So you're indecisive. Yeah, and the chariot. But you have identified what it is. You just need the willpower. You need to have faith. You need to have faith. I feel like I feel like you're looking at something, trying to figure out like how can I be successful in this in this field or with this thing? How can I how can I make sure that I'm successful here? Show me the two of swords. All right, you could be dealing with a um a Cancerian or a Libra. Okay. But I just feel like you need to make a decision. The universe, yeah, um, high priestess, queen of swords. The universe is like Pisces. You make a decision already. There's a lot of feelings on the table. Okay, you have this moon card, which is our deep, deep, deep feelings, which includes our fears and insecurities and our, our um, you know, maybe not looking at something for what it truly is. There may be some um, illusions here that are creating delusions for you. You have the two of swords, which is moon in Libra. Okay, again, that moon energy, and we, we are having this, I feel like something's being revealed to you, Pisces, and, and you need to act on it. Show me the two of swords, please. Your feels, your feelings, your feelings are all over the place today. And again, that's why I'm getting that four of cups energy where it's like, I'm bored. Okay, I want to be inspired. Or again, I am inspired and I can't act on it. It's like you feel like you can't reach something. Yeah, the sun. But you you are gaining clarity. Clarify the two of swords, please. Your intuition is speaking to you heavily. Okay. <laughs> Six of swords. Yeah, you just need to trust the universe. You're being you're 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 receiving guidance. That's what that that's what that nudge is. That's what that pull is. That's what that tug is. That's why you're uncomfortable. That's why you feel that discomfort. That's why your head hurts. That's why your stomach hurts. Okay, that's why you're bored. All right, what is this? The Queen of Cups, yeah, the Death card, but in the Ten of Pentacles again. All right, it's, but but you you know it's gonna take a significant change. I feel like some of you aren't ready. All right, if I'm honest, yeah, the Nine of Wands, Knight of Swords. I feel like some of you are not ready. Two of Pentacles. You're going back and forth about this, but whatever this thing is, 
Okay, and, and again, maybe you're dealing with a Cancerian or another Pisces, a Scorpio here. Whatever this thing is, I feel like it can bring you a lot of, uh, like it'll bring you this, the stability that you're looking for. I feel like I'm rambling, but I love you guys. Okay, Page of Cups. Yeah, the Page of Wands and the Knight of Cups. You just need to act on this. You have the inspiration. You're not, you, you are bored, right, with whatever you're doing. You're not satisfied with whatever you're doing. You're not satisfied with what's being offered to you because you already know where you want to go. It's just about fear, okay, or or um, needing needing to make a decision to go in this di in this direction. That's the only way that the chariot will move. That's the only way you have to believe that you can make it move. That's the only way. All right, the universe is giving you the key. Open the damn door, okay. That's what I have for you guys. All right, again, thank you for showing up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, I'll see you next time.